I see why people be wearing masks. This is crazy out here. This is like one of the most beautiful experiences. Going back. Wow. Okay, man, take care. This is like a movie. My name is Sean K. I'm an artist, producer, songwriter, and traveler. And I just finished backpacking around the world in 30 days, exploring music and culture with strangers. The point of this trip was to show that creativity exists in every crevice of the planet, regardless of popularity. I think too often the world measures creativity based on public success, when I think it should be measured on one's dedication to their craft. Whether you make egg coffee in a roadside shop in Vietnam, belt drunken melodies by the river in Budapest, or work on major productions in Hollywood, there are no boundaries to creativity or measurements that should exist outside of your own personal exploration. And I solo traveled the world by myself for the first time to prove that. And this is the second episode of Kathmandu, Nepal. Say hi. Hi, Hi. What's up, bro? Oh, good, man. How are you? Good. You slept for a while? No, I didn't sleep at all. <laughs> I got a question. Yeah, please. Come with me one second. I can put you. Okay, so. I need you to think of a word yeah. that makes you think of our friendship. Uh -huh. okay. okay. And I want you to write it on me, uh -huh. and then I go get tattoo. Are you wanna go yeah, get yeah, tattoo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, say it again. Yeah, what is it? Sati means partner, a friend, uh, beloved friend, anything. The Sati means a partner who becomes a part through a uh, life. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, we'll okay. see it in a while. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll think. see you in a while. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm off to the tattoo shop now. See if we can get a good price. Like most places in Nepal, it was cash only, so I had to find an ATM. You know, most people see tattoos like this and instantly think intimidation because they associate it with gangs or whatever. But sometimes it's no more than a deeply rooted creative expression. So I try to keep my perspective open. All right, we got the bread. Got to go here. Cost two thousand five hundred rupees. Should be cool though. Should be cool. I think it's gonna come out good. Just from what I'm looking at, it looks like they do a good job. So. It's interesting to me because tattoos hold different weight in different communities. You would be right to assume that there's gang affiliation with some, especially in America. But in some cultures, there's no hostility behind the art of the ink. There's something very sacred to it, especially here in Nepal. Some people here get tattoos to honor their gods. Others will tattoo their young to protect them from evil spirits. Perspective really is everything. Took a little bit, but it was worth it. She did a good job. I'm sore now though, and I want to find a place to get a massage. I think, I think there's a spot. Thank you, brother. Like right around here, honestly. Let me see if I can find it. Because I need parts immediately. But my arm is sore. Overstimulation is real. And I felt like between the tattoo and the busyness, I really needed this break. All right, they gave me boxers and a towel. It's gonna be like a, they're giving me like a body scrub. I get like a sauna and then an hour massage. All for 3,500 rupees, which is still an American price because they brought out the American or the English menu. So um, that's fine. It's still uh, cheaper than what I pay in America. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna lock my stuff up and I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, that was intense. Um, it's a long process. We only went for like two hours. I was supposed to be back by 4.30. No, I'm good, bro, thank you. Yeah, I was supposed to be back by uh, 4.30 because my boy got uh We're supposed to go do some stuff today, but it's already 4.30, so. 
need to hurry up and get back to the hostel. So I'm trying to move with a little bit of pace here. I'm not far though. Only a few minutes. I just hope it's not gone. It was a good massage though. No funny shit. Straight to the point. But I got like the sauna, steam room. I got a full body scrub. Gotta take a couple showers. I got a, like an hour massage. Felt like an hour and a half, bro. I fell asleep, I think, almost at one point. It was good though, for sure. Definitely worth it. So I got a tattoo and a massage for a total of 2,500 for the tattoo. I gave her three plus 35, six, 6,500 it was for the entire thing. Good news is the overstimulation had settled and I was ready to get back into the environment. The bad news though is I was late. Alright, first things first, um, I didn't make it back in time to show bro my tattoo or go hang with the guys. It's unfortunate, but the night continues on and uh, gotta go find something to do now. So, I'm hungry, I wanna eat, I wanna have some drinks, and I wanna meet some strangers. So, whatever smells or looks appetizing, I'm gonna just head in that way. So, we'll see what they got going on. I don't want to go to nothing tourist though, you know? Because I feel like I'm in that location for that. So, I'm trying to get away from that. Yes, that's it. What's up, bro? Yeah, how are you? What's up, bro? Where are you from, brother? America, where are you oh, from? Oh, nice country. You look like Nepal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like you here, brother. Thanks, bro. I Namaste. I'm from Nepal. Thank you, brother. Namaste. My name is Bikram. What's Bikram. your name? Bikram. Sean. Sean. Yeah. I see Sean. <laughs> nice to meet you, brother. Nice people, man. Nice people. No Google Maps. Looking for some food. Walking up on a super busy street right now. Yeah? I see why people be wearing masks. This is crazy out here. Like some good food right here. I'm not gonna lie. What kind of food is this though? What they talking about on this little menu, man. That's what they talking about, man. Whatever they got going on over here, though, this might be my little vibe, bro. I gotta find a way to get across. Let's see what they talking about, man. Yeah, this the one low key. Let's see what Let's see what's going on here, man. This place feels very authentic, though. Uh, I got chicken biryani. So, it should be good. If I could use the restroom, the toilet, and it's the restaurant, here's the toilet. It's a hole in the ground, boy. All right, I got some milk tea and some chicken biryani. I'm about to smash this down. The feeling of eating by yourself could be seen as somber for some. But for me, I feel much more connected to my meal because that's all that I have. So when I'm experiencing new cultural recipes like this, there's not a better situation to do it in, I think. All right, so change of plans. The boys just hit me back up. I just ate some great food, caught up with my family. And now, I'm about to head back to the hostel, which I'm pretty sure is up this way. Last time I checked, I remember. So, food was great. And Ronnie is gonna pick me up. So, yeah, let's run. Walking out in traffic, man. That shit is crazy. I'm following Bro Lee. I've been trying to uh, change the way that I use my dialect while I'm here because I think it's important to adjust your communication based on um, who you're communicating with. Just trying to like blend in a bit and also just make it easier for the person that is uh that you're trying to communicate with because if i'm speaking 
in super proper, complete English to somebody that, you know, has maybe like a, a first grader's understanding of English, then we're not gonna get anywhere in terms of our communication. So instead, I want to change that, break it up a bit, bring it down a level, and add just like a flair of their dialect to the way I talk. Because through that, it allows me to venture further into the culture because now I'm able to communicate in a way that allows me to, hey, that allows me to be further understood. So, if you hear me ever talk with a broken accent, it's for that reason and it's for that purpose. Oh, I couldn't even recognize you, bro. You don't recognize me. <laughs> I thought it was you because you were filming me, but I was like, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Brisk night sky hovering above me. It was the first time that I truly felt my location on the map. With no words being heard or said for that matter. It was just me, the experience, and my thoughts. And the only one that consistently came across my mind was to be quiet and present. This is beautiful. Wow. This is like one of the most beautiful experiences. <sighs> what did you say the temple is called? Mighty Devi. Okay. So basically it's called the God, uh, home for all the goddess of Hinduism. So, wow. so Mighty means the parents' house mm -hmm. and Devi means the goddess. So this is called the, their own house. Wow. Every morning you just sing a song like Bazan's here inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh wow. So this is like like the prayer song, like the music room. Yeah. <laughs> they sing all the goddess songs. Oh they sing, yeah. yeah. Wow. I love how it's a community thing to where like everyone agrees, you know, to respect it and to go about the practices in a respected way, you know. Nobody trashes the place, nobody disrespects the land, you know. And I, I love that, you know. It's, it's, I, it, like whether you are somebody that believes or, or somebody that doesn't, I think it's amazing that everyone mutually agrees to respect, you know. Because that's how I feel. I'm, I'm just learning about Hinduism, because you're a Hindu, right? Yeah, so I'm just learning about Hinduism. I don't know much about it, but like, I feel the respect and I give mine, you know. I want to make sure that like, it's known that, uh, I come with, you know, the utmost respect for yeah. everything and uh, the culture and everything the culture represents. And you were raised Hindu, yeah? yeah. Your parents were Hindu? Yeah. Okay. And your kids will be Hindu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's not like that in Nepal, if you are Hindu, then you, you won't respect other religions. Mm -hmm. So like I do have Buddhist friends, Muslim friends. And yeah. That's how I am. Because my thing is, it's all about the energy, you know? Mm -hmm. And everyone is like, everyone believes in a similar thing, which yeah. is a higher power and something that's stronger than us and it's everyone just kind of gets there differently and i think we all should just respect each other and how we go about understanding this life that we live you know and that's why i'm like I, to even be here right now and to be experiencing this is like it's an honor you know and to have you somebody that's like so amazing <laughs> yeah. guiding you know it means a lot and i really do appreciate this being my first like hindu experience you know yeah, i've never had the it. temple and making some wish <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah last day last day in the pool i'm not someone that has all the answers and i try not to act like i'm someone that does the best thing for me always is to be a listener the more i take in from my observations the more understanding and empathetic i feel like i become you can learn so much from the creativity of people, no matter where they are in the world. All right, all right, all right. Yes, 
sir. This one? Push or pull? Push. Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. What's up? You been late today, and I was. <laughs> oh, what's up, my boy? Oh, how are you? So I'll just get changed. And... Okay, cool. All right, bro. Welcome to paradise. Thanks, man. Surviving, yeah. Oh, yeah. What can you get? Huh? Sati, yeah, Sati. Yeah, that's what he told me. I told him to pick it. If he picked it, I would get it. So I got it so I can remember y'all forever, you know. As we stood in harmony trying to soak up every last second of the moment, I realized that the people in Nepal are really good at one thing, and that's showing you that they care. Oh, this one, the chorus. I love it, man. <laughs> We have listened six, more than six times, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are viewers. Uh, yeah. You know, you are not here. You are not here, and we are listening to your song. Yeah, bro. And, I, and I'm your new subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> I am also, man. I am also yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you write lyrics as well in the... Yeah. Then yeah, we yeah, can yeah. read it, yeah, and yeah. then we can sing it as well. Yeah, okay. Our cool. English will improve, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send you a lot of artists do that. Yeah, like only yeah, lyrics as well. I'll put them in there. Yeah, yeah. Say it. The life is like there is no calculation. Like there is no friend calculation, there is no home calculation, there is no mother calculation, there is no father calculation, there is no mother no calculation. calculation. <laughs> everything, everything is like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So live the life in the present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't carry the life. Oh, yeah. If you carry the life, then it will be really hard. So yeah. live the moment. Live in the moment. Yeah. 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 There is no end of the moment. If you make a moment, that's a moment. Yeah. Yeah. This a moment. Yeah. This a moment. Yeah. This, this is a moment. moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's always the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. You know, the reason I did this trip was to show creativity at every level and how beautiful it is. And I feel like Nepal represented every last bit of it. Whether people were making music in mask shops or a 16-year-old was running a two-story music store, or whether the host at my hostel was creating a route that I could experience his culture for at the highest form, it's all creativity and its value is immeasurable. Nepal, you have my heart. My brother. Thank you, man. Okay, thank you. All right, you too, bro. But as great as life can get, there's always a reality check. Man, this is when a challenge starts to really feel like a challenge. It's like 2 a.m. here in uh, Kathmandu. Yeah, I got a bug, got sick. It's a part of the journey and I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this entire experience. I'm grateful to even feel this. I'm grateful to be here right now. And as down bad as I feel, I would be willing to do it all again just to experience this this trip. Um, I know right now I don't really feel that, but I know in my heart I do. Oh, I gotta get some rest. Oh my God. It's like 8 a.m. almost. I'm flying in four, four and a half hours, five and a half hours. Yeah, I'm excited for the next country. Hopefully, I feel a little better. I think I will, but right now, I'm fucked up, gang. I can't even lie, but I'll be all right. This has been the best trip of my life and getting sick is inevitable. Yeah, and it could be worse. It could always be worse, so I'm grateful. 
always. This is hilarious because I had pre-called a taxi to pick me up so I didn't have to worry about missing my flight. So when I went out to find it, it just so happened that I thought that this was it, but it wasn't. So I ended up paying double the price and got scammed because this guy told me he was my guy. It's cool though. I'm, I'm gonna get the money back. I'm not worried about <laughs> it. Yeah, you get it back from yeah, there, right? Yeah. Is that I'm back back in the US? No, it's it's all it's all around. I, just, I don't even think it's in the US. I think they're just in uh, like Nepal. Your flight is 1245, right? Um, let me see. 130. 131. 125 Tiger, Western Bank, right? 135. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already checked in too, so I could just go in there. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Yeah, man. Give me one. Meet you back. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. You're going back. Wow. Okay, man, take care. Okay. This is like a movie from yeah, this guy. My brother. <laughs> okay, man. Take care. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank I love y'all boys. Um, did you did you guys eat already? Uh, yeah, we had it enough. You already ate? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll go get dinner. Uh, for sure, I love y'all boys. Take this. Y'all go eat. Y'all go eat. Thank you, man. I love y'all boys. Okay. Right, man. We will see you. I love y'all, okay? Thank so you much for your whole tour. Yes, man. sir. And uh, don't forget to keep this uh, like a yeah, party because yeah. you can tie that in your back. Okay. The people will machine. not allow you. They will tie yeah. it and then throw it. Just keep it in your back. I am about to put it. Or okay. maybe you can tie this uh, in your back and yeah. uh, later on you can uh, recognize your package. Yeah. Okay, bet. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, boys. Okay, man. Thank you, bro. Time. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, My sir, boy. Take care. Oh yeah, boys. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, Matt. I'll call you. Don't forget to share your Sati. Oh yeah, 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 Sati boy. Yeah. Lay off.